Hi, I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Tovey. Today's book is... The Story of Ferdinand. Ferdinand. By Monroe Leaf. Monroe. Monroe Leaf. That's a hard name. It is. Drawings by Robert Lawson. Let's get started. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together but not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. Wait, he just sits there and smells flowers? What? It's nice. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. What? Stop it! Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, obviously. That's a weird thing to say. Hmm would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head? She would say, but Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, there it is. He's prejudicing against cows. Yeah, what do you got against cows, Moonro? It's okay to be a cow. It's great to be a cow. She let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. That's a big bull. That's a big bull. Big old bull. Big old bull. That's the biggest bull. Big bull. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. For the glory. Ryan, they killed the bull. I thought it was just for the, the glory. It's bad. Maybe smelling the flowers doesn't seem so bad anymore. Right? But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce, and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care, so he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice, cool grass and the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? I would fly away. No. I would call my mom. Try again. I would politely say, excuse me, Mr. Bull, you seem to have sat upon me. No, you would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. Ah, 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 right. Were you pretending just now that you were stung by a bee? Yeah. But you weren't, were you? No. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Woo! Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. Free cart ride. Cool. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderilleros with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. They're gonna stick Ferdinand? That's not nice. Well, it's an ancient tradition from a bygone era. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Why are they doing that to him? It's a brutal culture from another time. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. They're gonna kill him for entertainment? Ryan, they didn't have TV. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Don't be Ferdinand, please don't be Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce. Oh. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> And all the banderilleros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. 
but not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely lady's hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. Now I'm starting to get it. But I still don't want to smell them. Okay. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the banderilleros were mad. And the picadores were madder. And the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. I don't have a bad room at all. Not a bit. So they had to take Ferdinand home. Another free car ride. Bonus. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. The end. Craig. Yeah? You can smell the flowers. Really? Yep. I'm very happy. The, the Story of Ferdinand. By Munro Leaf. Drawings by Robert Lawson. Well, thanks for watching Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Toby. We'll see you next time. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Oh, that was awesome! We did it! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo. 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 Hey guys, if you want to see the next video in our series, go ahead and click the link right here. And if you want to get email updates and see when our next video is coming out, click the subscribe button. So if you subscribe or if you click the next video, you'll be helping us build an audience for what we love to do, which is read books to you.